Today I'm going to teach you to make the perfect chicken. The chicken that is going to make everyone around you rave. And it's so simple. By the time you are finished this video, it's going to be together and in the oven. Next, our ingredients. Well, of course, we have the star of the show, the free range chicken. I want to know that my chicken had a really good life before it landed on my plate. I want to make sure it hasn't been fed GMOs. I don't think animals, just like humans, process genetically modified feeds <laughs> properly. It's foreign. I want free range. That's hard to find. Third, I want to know it was ethically killed. Very important to me. I like to know that they didn't know it was coming. That's just me. Next is my lemons, and I've got that soaking in a vinegar water solution right now to remove any pesticide residues because I'm using the whole lemon. I want that skin. Next is my garlic. We want to make sure that's not Chinese garlic. Don't do that. And all you're going to do is slice them. Get them into some small little chunks, okay? You need two. Next, you're going to take your garlic and you're just going to cut it in chunks. You want some nice chunks in there. Ready. Now we're set. All we have to do is fill this chicken up with the lemons and the garlic. And I am going to put a little bit of coconut oil in there for good measure. In the middle and then keep on adding. So now that it's all stuffed, my hands are washed. Now, my Himalayan salt and pepper blend. Little handful, and I'm gonna sprinkle all over in all the crevices. I'm gonna try to get some inside. And now, I'm back to my coconut oil. The coconut oil I like to put on top, as you can see here, and get it in all the little spots. So I think probably the biggest detriment to cooking a big chicken for a lot of people is the fact that it takes so long. A lot of recipes call for a lower oven temperature. I don't. I preheat my oven to 475. My chicken goes in at that temperature and I wait 15 minutes and then I turn it down to 425. My total cook time is going to be one hour. Now, as soon as I turn it down, I'm going to baste this chicken and you're going to see what I mean. Now I'm turning it down and I'm going to baste it. Do not be afraid of this fat. You need this fat to make this bird awesome. Plus you want to make it nice and, I like it nice and crispy. So my bird is cooked. It's been an hour. I'm not even going to look at it. What I'm going to do is give it a chance to rest. Super important when you're dealing with meat. It needs a chance to, for the juices to meld. So I'm going to go for a walk and when I get back, I'm going to slice it. And in fact, because I've let the meat rest, it's going to fall off the bone and it's going to melt in your mouth. And here's my chicken. I've returned from my workout. I have had it sitting in the oven for about an hour and a half, close to two hours, with it turned off. And it's just slightly warm, and it's ready to pull apart. And it will pull apart. Watch this. Just like that. You want it to pull apart. Look at that. You don't even have to barely, you don't even have to touch it. It just slices perfectly. Look at that. 
We're going to go to the other side and do it just the same. Look at it just, I mean, I'm really having a hard time keeping it together. <laughs> just false. Perfect. If you'd like to join me again, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit a like. I really appreciate that. Of course, you can get me on Instagram, IGTV, and Facebook, Thrive at 50. Thanks, and bon appetit.